Okay, hi, I'm Joe Maxwell, JJ Maxwell Tack and Saddle. And what we're going to cover here on this little short video is the fitting forms in our fit system and how to position them and how to, uh, uh, where exactly they're going on the horse and what to look for. So I'm going to make it short and sweet. So uh, I'm going to start with this is one of the forms and you have you have a certain amount of rock and a certain amount of twist and I'll cover that in a later video but what the twist is is the difference between the angle sharper angle of the front and the flatter angle of the back and so the place to position these forms is to come right here immediately behind the scapula feel the scapula right here and so right there you put your fingertips over that just like that okay and then position that form right in there and right there is what we're looking for in the form now the thing that we don't want to look that we don't want is that if you look at this form right here you're missing a lot of the the bar contact here so what we're wanting to do is get as much bar surface on this horse's back as possible without this back end digging in and to where it's sitting there without losing the contact so you've only got a small pattern here and so this form right here is a little bit too narrow which is a little bit too sharp of a bar angle on it and it's also does not have quite enough rock we're right in through here now right through here you'll see a raised portion and this raised portion is where the stirrup slots go disregard whether that is bridging don't consider that as bridging don't worry about whether the spine is contacting or not we've got a certain spot here that we're wanting to place this and so we we're trying to just get as much bar surface as possible my concern is that and so this one here has a little bit too sharp of an angle because we're losing a lot of this right up in here okay and we're coming back in here and this back end is fitting pretty good but we're losing a little bit if you were to see it you're losing a little bit here through the middle just on this bar okay so this isn't the form and I've simplified this I've only got a few of the forms out okay this is right here's another one that's got a little less rock in it but if you you start looking at it bring his head up just a little bit okay right there Okay, now when you start looking at it, see you're starting to bridge back in here a little bit. If you come and look down under here, you're bridging. Okay, so this one fits good pretty decently in the front end, but it's got a little bit too flat of a bar in it. Okay, but it would be a considered, considered form when it comes right down to it. Now we're going to take this one here. This one here is a little bit too wide. The angles are fitting pretty good. We're losing a little bit more of this back here than I would like. We're losing to about right here. We've got enough rock in it and everything, but it's too wide. We're falling out of that pocket. It should be sitting right here instead of down here. Okay, so it's a little bit too wide of a form. Okay, so now we're gonna come to the next one. And this one right here, we set in here and our angles are all matching pretty good. We're making good contact all but right back here in the back end, which is what we want. We want a little bit off of off the back end. We don't want them we don't want it up here like this, but we do a little bit up like that's not going to hurt anything because when you put it down and the horse goes through a ditch, we don't want the back end of this digging in the loin. But there again, right here's the place to position it just like that cup it set it over there like that and the angles are all matching that's the big thing I'm after is the angles so now when it comes time to photograph this form we want to come at a 45 degree angle and take your pictures like this so I can see that the angles match okay that's from the front end and you can do it both sides if you want one sides all it's really necessary because you only you're gonna have the identical thing on the other side unless the horse is off and then you have to pad or something accordingly Okay, now you're going to come over to the side here and you're going to take a picture right in here to make sure that we got good bar contact through here. So there again, here's your stirrup slot right in here and I don't worry about it. This one particular one's got good contact, but you got good contact from the side. Okay, so that's the angle you want to take that. Then we're going to come around here to the back end and we want an angle at a 45 degree angle from the back end so I can see that the angles through here are matching okay there again not worrying about whether or not this is contacting the spine because the finished saddle this these forms are not representative of that also this very front end if you look here and you see that this is a little tight the finished form or the finished tree 
these forms don't represent that. So if it digs a little bit here in the front end like this right here, I don't worry about that because I modify the front end when uh, we build a tree and I'll show you on a tree in here in just a second. I'll show you a tree that's modified and you can see what it does differently. And now we got this fit. Okay, let me grab a tree. Okay, here's the tree that represents that form. Now, there again, keep in mind here that put your fingers over the scapula like that, set that on your fingertips, and there you've got it positioned. Okay, now if you look, that same form, look at the angles here on the front end. Okay, look at the side, right in, right down through here, and then you come around here to the back. Okay, and you can see what the back end, and overall we've got excellent bar contact here with this being up just a little bit. Once you've got fleece and you've got everything else, this will all fill in. And this part up here, let me show you here in the wither, here's a good, good example right up here on the wither. If you look at the tree when it's sitting there, it looks like it's going to hit the wither. Well, I'll show you a finished saddle here in just a little bit, and uh, you'll see what's going on with that. But that'll be up once you put everything on it, that'll be up in there like that. Uh, okay, so there shows your forms and how to how to position them. And now in the future, we're going to have a few few more videos coming up, and we're going to show the positioning of the finished saddle and what to look for. But the critical part is to make sure that all of this is immediately behind the scapula. And I keep emphasizing that because that's probably the biggest uh, um, misconception that people have. So I thank you, and I uh, hope this works for you. Thanks a lot.